Hi guys, Yelena here. Um, so today we're gonna do something really, really cool. Um, I actually wanted to do this for a very long time, but I needed to do my research because obviously um, I'm, uh, I have a different skin tone and I needed darker skin tone in order to formulate. Hey, Gluber Bustos, thanks for joining. Hey, Angel, Angie, Young, pa oh, hi guys. Um, welcome. So today we're gonna be formulating uh, foundation meant for darker skin tones. Um, this has always been my dream to formulate a uh, foundation that's dark. Hey, sweetheart. Um, so I think I think I'm finally getting it. And though I do carry darker foundations, I found out even more about darker skin tones recently that they contain even more red and yellow. Um, so I am trying to formulate like crazy person, and I wanted to kind of show you what I'm doing here. So I have a bunch of powders here. This is all from my. Um, powder foundations and I wanted to t I wanted to show you how easy it is to be your own chemist so I picked out four of my formulations that have different deep undertones for a uh, woman of color and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make it your own so uh, I'm obviously using my natural line so I'm gonna be putting them in this one gram containers I got a bunch of them here so basically what you're gonna need is a container, an empty container. You're gonna need the colors that you want, right? Um, and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do it. The colors that you need. You're also gonna need the correcting colors, correcting powders, which is very important. Um, and you're gonna need small little spatulas. I, I'm a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome. Um, it doesn't matter who you are. We're all, you know, we're all friendly here. <laughs> um, so we're going to be a little chemist today. As many of you know, I'm actually offering a course. We're starting it. I'm so excited. I'm going to be teaching you how to actually create makeup. And it launches on November 2nd. This is the new date. So put it in your calendar. If any of you is interested in creating your own, even if it's one thing, like a lipstick or a foundation, then this is the course for you. Um, and it's launching on November 2nd, so put that in your calendar. I'm gonna link the um, page down in somewhere on my page, so you'll find it. Okay, so let's formulate. So I'm gonna start with my darkest shade, which is Espresso. And this has a little bit of a shimmery finish. So this is, this is what we have. I'm gonna just swatch it on my hand. Uh, my skin tone, I would say like a, a light medium. I'm not the lightest. Um, but I am like a light media, so you will see that this color on me will be pretty dark. Um, uh, the lighting is a little bit off, but you could see how dark this color is. Now, let's say you want to make your liquid foundation darker, which is going to be like this color here. So you will take your liquid foundation. I will be using chestnut. This chestnut is a, from also from organic line. And what you're going to do is you're going to pump a little bit. You really don't need, if, especially if it's for just one time and you just want to play with the formulation. Know how many pumps you're doing. I'm kind of doing it by, um, when I'm doing it for myself, I'm doing it just by pumps. But when I'm actually formulating, um, you have to, it depends for who you're doing it. But I would say wear gloves, be in a sterile environment. Um, but if it's just for yourself, it doesn't really matter. Use little spatulas. So each spatula has a um, the amount of in grams, how much it is... Um, that fits in here so you can just pump it into here and put it into your um, container empty container so I'm just gonna put like a few pumps just to show you what color we're gonna create so this is chestnut it has a bit more of a red undertone if you'll be able to see it but it's a little bit more redder um, so let's say uh, you have a color that you you need it deeper than this because I'm gonna swatch it next to um, the espresso that I have and you'll see the difference. Do you see the difference? This one is much lighter than this one. Um, actually on camera this one looks a little bit more yellow but it's actually a little bit more red. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my spatula. I'm gonna take a 0 0.1 gram and I'm going to add just one spatula size into these two pumps that I did just like this you see 
and now I'm going to take my little tiny spatula like to mix and I'm gonna start mixing I'm gonna start mixing and looking at the color now make sure that you're mixing it evenly and take your time minerals have to basically melt into each other this is really really cool guys I just love doing it and I'm gonna show you graduation of color with one with two with three uh, spatulas in it so it took me like what two seconds to mix this together now I'm gonna show you right next to this color what this new color looks like look at this you see this color now you have a darker formulation this is just with one um, spatula of espresso in it and this is only 0.1 gram size now I'm going to take the exact same formulation that we just mixed and I'm gonna add another scoop of this if you want it even darker so I'm gonna take one scoop I'm gonna add it again right into it I'm gonna grab the same spatula I'm gonna start mixing start mixing and mixing and mixing and you will see how the color is changing it into a little bit deeper tone this is so oh, I just love formulating because I get to first of all it's like in a weird way you have too much power right because you're formulating and you are creating something out of something else and it's just it's like the coolest thing on the planet for me formulation is, is so much fun so now that I've, I've mixed it in okay I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna show you how we went from this color to this color now this is the third one look at this shade do you see this one is even deeper than this one and we started off with these two colors this is all we're doing we're mixing it together so this is where this is where the fun part begins hi I'm glow hi Esther so this is where real fun begins is when you're starting to actually hey to formulate it to to actually um, match your skin tone now a lot of colors and I'm no expert at this so don't quote me on it but a lot of dark um, this is just based on my research the darker skin tones you need to have a bunch of different colors in order to have this effect of natural graduation right normally the darker darker skin tones they have much darker forehead and then it kind of goes hi I'm glow hi sweetie uh, and then it kind of goes into like a lighter tone right um, so you you have to use like from a professional uh, cosmetics regular cosmetics that you would use like Mac or whatever you would need to match it up into different areas and then blend blend it very nicely with the natural organic ones like mine which are you will use the pharmaceutical grade you do not need to have like five six foundations you can maybe have one or two that's it um, they are, they color correct on your face so it becomes a little bit uh, well, actually a lot easier right but you have to give it like five minutes to kind of find its way to on your face so it makes it really really cool so as you can see out of this color we created such darker much darker shades so when you see for example chestnut and you're saying oh it's too light for me well become your own chemist it doesn't mean that this is it you know what I'm saying this is not it now that we created this dark shade right look at the difference between the original and this one we're gonna move on to the next one the next color so let me just get rid of these colors here because this was our first dark formulation now back to the clean skin now let's formulate something redder okay so let's say you're not so dark right let's say you are a shade lighter um, so let's go for caramel caramel is has a bit of like um, more like yellowish undertones let me just pump in here I will also put like two pumps so you see, I'm going to swatch it here for you. Look at how light, right? It actually is pretty dark, but it's a lot of light in here. Let me move it. Okay, anyways, here you go. So this is the formulation. Let's say you like this like this tone, like this color, but the tone is a little bit off. So what are you going to do? You want to add a little bit more red in it, right? So it's very simple. You go back to the minerals. This is actually my crushed mineral blush. And it's the, the name of it is Flirt. It's very red. Let me swatch it for you right here. It's a very like red, deep formula. 
So what are you going to do with this one? If you want to make this one a little bit redder, all you have to do is really pick up. Um, let me wipe this one out because I really like the size. Um, so you're going to take another 0.1 gram size. You're going to grab, actually, I can't even take less. Never mind. I'm going to take um, 0 0.05 grams, which is very tiny, very tiny. Look at the dip. Well, I'll show you the difference. Um, look at the difference between them, right? This little guy, we're going to just drop into our, you see this? You see the difference? We're going to put it in there because you're just trying to change the tone of it, right? You want to make it a little bit more redder. Um, hi, Lucilene. Thanks for joining. Um, so I'm going to put this and I also want to add a little bit of matte foundation. I'm going to use dark, the matte mineral foundation. And I wanted to also correct my face, which is like, let's say I want to add um, the apricot powder, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the exact same one, because if you're doing it for yourself, you don't need 500 spatulas. So, we already added the red tint. Now, I'm going to add this pretty... This one actually will give you, like, um, a little bit of color if it's your two, two olive. So, I'm going to take a little bit, literally 0 0.05 grams of this one. So, now you've got three colors there. You see that? So once you got the three colors in there, I'm also going to add the dark, which is the matte foundation. Where is it? Here it is. Um, also going to put in just 0 0.05. The reason why I'm putting it in there is so that it, it kind of blends the rest of it out. Now you're going to see the type of foundation you will have. I'm going to grab a clean spatula, and you got like a whole colorful situation there. And I'm going to start mixing. Now remember, since you're going to be your own basically... Um, your own um, uh, chemist, you know, you will have to play with the formulations. If, let's say, you put a little bit too much of one thing, then add a completely different thing uh, into it. For example, if it's too red, then add a little bit of a neutral tone in it. You know what I mean? Um, and then it will just eat it completely up. So now, what we did was, it's actually a very interesting color. I really like it. Um, I'm going to show, I'm going to swatch it right next to this one. And then from here, you can make it deeper, you can make it redder, you can make whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So here's the shade, and I'm going to put it next to the original color. Look at this foundation. Isn't that pretty? What do you think, guys? Look, we started out with this foundation color. We added a bunch of things in it. Now it is redder. Do you see this? And it's a completely different tone. So when you buy um, the organic foundations from my line, let's say, right? Because I, I know my line very well, so I can actually help you with it. Um, they blend into each other. They blend, they, they just kind of like eat each other up. So makes sense to create, look at this. We created two completely different colors now. Do you see how much fun this is to be your own chemist? This is actually, um, yeah, this is actually really cool. Look at this. I don't even have the shades in my line. I'm literally creating it right now in front of you. So this is like, this is super, super fun. And of course, now that this, this foundation is so much redder than the original caramel foundation, which look how much, how much yellow is in it, right? Um, and all we did was we changed the tone. It's still going to be the same color. We just changed the tone of it. Now I want to show you how to um, make the foundation... Uh, a little bit more um, long lasting, right? So, and also a lot of us want it to be also this, you know, protection from the sun and all that stuff. So let me erase this from my hand. Okay, so we're gonna start fresh for the third formulation. You're gonna be like all chemists by the end of this video. Um, so I have powder here, which is a mineral rice setting powder. This setting powder is is a universal shade. It doesn't, it, it looks kind of light, but honestly, it goes on any skin type. I tested it on a darker skin tones and it worked fine because what it does is it kind of melts into your skin. Um, so what you're going to do is this. Let's say you just want to use a uh, liquid foundation and you want to add a little bit more. Um, hey, Rosa chicken thanks for joining um let's say let me take this cork this is another front this is another one this one has a little bit of more more like um mm, this is more warm this is much warmer uh i know you cannot see it well there but hey anna hey uh, dupree sorry if i'm mispronouncing okay so this is our third formulation 
So you're gonna take cork or whatever color you want, it doesn't really matter. Even if this is, let's say this is your color, what you're gonna do is, because this, this lasts longer anyway, but let's say you wanna make it even more less long lasting and let's say you want to actually um, put a little bit of, um, hmm, let's see what I wanna do. What about some uh, sun protection, right? So I'm gonna use the AM Sun Powder. This is the mineral, sheer miracle powder, okay, that I'm using also for my line. And I'm going to be missing the medium mineral uh, rice setting powder. I'm going to take, so I pumped about mm, a pump and a half in here, okay? And I'm going to be using a little bit bigger one, spatula, which is the original one I used, which is 0 0.1 grams, okay? So this is the difference between them that I've been using. You see the difference? It's, it's a pretty big difference. So I'm going to use a bigger one. Um, actually, I'm going to put a little bit more of the cork in there. Okay, here we go. Um, so let's say I want it to last a little bit longer than it is now. I'm going to grab one spatula full of the 0.1 gram. I'm going to dump it in there. You see? And I'm also going to take the same amount of AM sun powder. It's a treatment powder, so you will actually gonna have like an anti-aging situation going on which is super cool I love it it's like one of my favorite parts is that you could actually make your own anti-aging um, product so I'm gonna take a clean spatula I'm gonna start mixing them together all three products sometimes you will notice I mean <clears throat> this takes a little bit of practice but sometimes you will notice that you added a little bit too much powder into your liquid. That's okay, don't worry about it. You can always add a little bit of liquid and it will be perfect. So now, I'm gonna, we mixed it up. Look at this beautiful color. Color is basically the same, but you have now a bunch of different properties in it. So let me swatch it for you right here. Look at this. You see this? So now you, you've you made this foundation. Not only is it long lasting, longer lasting now, right? Because you've mixed in the mineral rice setting powder, but you but it also has the sun protection and a lot of anti-aging properties, which is the AM uh, powder here. So look at how many things we were able to create in like, what, five minutes, 10 minutes? You got three different things. So I'm gonna do one more because I'm just, I'm like excited here um, so for another formulation for women of color which is when it's like a deeper tone um, you can grab your let's say chestnut again right because this is dark you could put put a few pumps in there I'm putting three pumps I'm gonna clean this off my hand so that I can actually swatch it for you and you see the difference when I'm formulating um, this is chestnut we're going back to the original color that we've been using you see this color okay so, I'm going to add red into it. And I'm going to go slowly because you don't want to over, like, overwhelm it. I'm going to take Flirt Crushed Mineral Blush, also from Analy Cosmetics. I'm going to take 0 0.05 gram of Flirt, add it to three pumps of the um, chestnut, which is the darkest. I'm just trying to make it now redder. And I'm um, also going to put in um, dark, which is matte color. I'm also going to use a... No, actually, I'm going to use a bigger one for this one. 0.1 gram size. You're going to take one spatula full. And you're going to put it right in here. So do you see how you have like a bunch of colors in there, right? So now let's say you want to get really fancy and you want to add the sun powder and if you want it to last longer. Fine, great. Let's take the same one, dip into AM powder, put it right there, and into the rice setting powder. Put it right there. Grab your little spatula. Now you're really making a concoction that's going to be like awesome. And by the way, um, if you want it to be a little bit thicker, right, so it's not so liquidy, but not, not really creamy, you can add a little bit more powder. You just have to kind of play with colors a little bit. 
So now you got yourself, look at this color. Oh, I love it. Look at this color. So this is the original color. This is the one we just formulated. We All we did, we literally just changed the tone of it. I don't know if you can see it here, but look at the tone of this one. This is much redder than this one. This one is more like, um, um, I guess, um, orangey, the top one. And this one is more neutral, okay? Because we did add the red and we did add all these amazing things into it, okay? So now you got four different formulas. Let me see if I can hold them all together. You got four different formulas for your skin tone and you can wear it every day or you can mix it up. You can make your own um, foundation, not only foundation, you can make your own powder foundation by mixing the powders together. Let's say you like the dark and you like the espresso both, right? And you want to kind of mix them together. Take a scoop of each, mix it up, apply it right, I usually apply it right here but you can match it up to wherever you're matching to. Um, and you can do that with a uh, powder foundation, which is really, really cool. Um, another thing you can do, you can change the bases of your blushes. Let's say you want to put a little corrector in there. You can. You can put a teeny weeny bit of a corrector. If you, <clears throat> any product that I have, you can add a little bit more like anti-aging properties. For example, the AM powder or the PM powder, depending on what you're looking for. So, I don't know guys, I don't know about you, but I just, I absolutely love formulating and I think it's really cool, um, it's really fun and I'm going to be doing more of these, um, yeah, I mean like, I'm really, really excited, so don't forget, I'm only going to open up this um, course for 15 people, so if you are serious about creating your own line of foundations or your own line of lipsticks or whatever you want, uh, this is a course for you. And I'm looking forward to meeting you and uh, giving you whatever knowledge that I have, you know. Um, and I can't wait. I can't wait, you guys. So thank you so much for joining. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to be doing some kind of a Halloween tutorial because Halloween is around the corner. And it's very exciting. This is the time to be extremely um, creative. So I'm going to try to pull off something tomorrow. And um, that's it. Thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow.